hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to another video hopefully you guys enjoy So yeah, I'm going to be doing a boat review today. You guys might have already seen it in some of my other vlogs. I've been showing it a bit, but today I'm actually going to be doing a real review on it. So yeah, this is the boat. It's a 19-foot uh, Legend Excalibur with a 115 Merc on it. I'm going to be showing you guys all of that, and let's get right into it. So yeah, this is a used boat. came with a full top, and then also a winter top, and then a travel cover top, so three tops. Um, it came with two pedestal seats in there, and then there's a front, that's for the front seat, and then the flippy seats back here, these things flip up for, uh, for seats, and then go down for a casting deck here, and then yeah, I'll get in and show you guys everything. So yeah, this boat is in really, really, really good condition, um, it's a bit dirty right now because we've been using it lots. Yeah, it came with a trolling motor, show you guys that too. Show you guys everything of the boat and give a full review on it. And yeah. So it came with a little fish finder right there. It's got all its different gauges up here. Got the steering wheel that adjusts and whatnot. Got the all the trim and neutral forward, all those settings right here. Got MP3 aux cord and all the lights and bilge pump live well, all that there. Then up here, um, there is some seats you could sit up there. They take the little seats or the little mats for the seats off and turns into a cool little casting deck. Got a big um, compartment right there. That's where we keep our anchor down here and right little stereo right there. And also got some storage down here, down under the dash. And yeah, so this is the first pedestal seat. They're they're really really comfy, especially the captain's chair right here. Armrest and then adjustable seat, flip back and have a little nap in the boat. <coughs> yes, got two two rod compartments, one on each side. They can fit my seven foot rods. Probably, I can probably fit nine foot rods in there to be honest. They're pretty big compartments, fit tons of rods in here. And then yeah, so there's a back live well and a front live well, two live wells. That's the back one, it's pretty big. And then you got some more storage compartments. Then up here, get some more storage, battery. And yeah, some cup holders, there's cup holders all around the boat. One on each side and then some up at the front. And then now I'll show you the seats back here. So they have flip up seats like that. And then they can just pop up right now like that. It's a bit dirty, but yeah, they flip up like that. Not too comfortable with the back on it, but we don't usually travel with it on it if it's a nice day. Got some more compartments here. Yeah, the gas is at the back here with the motor back there. Got the new puppy, Brittany's new puppy. Sister's new doggy. Oh, you're so cute. Good puppy. So cute. Sorry, I kind of got distracted with the sister's new puppy, but back to the boat. So yeah, I'm gonna get onto the motor. Um, came with a really nice cover. It keeps, this, keeps it nice and protected. Also has the little bar down here so it doesn't get all banged up and then that's the transducer for the fish finder I'm gonna take the cover off and show you guys how mint the motor looks so yeah that's the motor really nice and shiny this boat looks really like brand spanking new if I stand stuffed up it's because I'm sick so yeah then got two straps lifetime warranty too really nice Leak per warranty lifetime. So yeah, I got the swim platform. And yeah, it's a, it's a really, really nice boat. It rides really smooth. 
going to take off the front and show you guys what's inside here. So yeah, this is like the seating uh, with the seats on it. It's really nice and comfortable. Got the backrest and everything. And then if you can take these guys off, they just clip on like that. And then you can just pop them off. Nice little uh, deck. This side, just some storage in there. And then up here, up in the front compartment, is uh, batteries. There's the onboard charger with uh, two two batteries in there. And then the live well right here. Both really big size live wells. Fit tons and tons of fish in there. Not like we need those, but <laughs> this kid, we catch fish. And then up at the front, just a second, there's another little cubby hole in there. We keep uh, the remote, the remote and the foot pedal for the trolling motor. So yeah, this is the little foot pedal for the trolling motor. It's a really simple design. It's wireless, left, right, faster, slower, and then the on and off button. So yeah, here's also the little remote, little wireless remote. This also works nicely the only thing that i don't like about this trolley motor i'll show you guys in a second but it kind of has a mind of its own like it spins randomly sometimes it's really weird i don't know if like the pedals are sticking or whatnot but yeah it's kind of weird but i'll show you guys the trolley motor too trolley motor we keep inside the garage because it'd probably be pretty easy to swipe so yeah, in here's the trolley motor it sits right there it's a Minn Kota, or no sorry it's a motor guide just a little wireless guy. Yeah, so that's the trolley motor. See, so yeah, this boat has uh, room for two more pedestal seats if we wanted to put them back here. It fits um, a lot of people actually. There's room for two good people up here, and then if we had two more pedestal seats, there could be seven people in the back. So, yeah, really nice dash, the two colors looks really nice and then yeah but down here we also have a bunch of rod storage too it can fit quite a few of them in here some nice rod holders it can all be locked up all of them can lock up all the storages doesn't have very many engine hours when we bought it it had 65 hours and now it has 80 so we already put it on uh put on quite a few hours since we got it only bought it a couple months ago so yeah it has really nice windows they're really clear really clear windows can and they're curved our other boat had just flat windows so you could really look at the side without having this there but this one yeah curved windows looks really nice and then have the walkthrough area right here that you could slide this little window in zip it up and yeah really really nice boat i really like it runs really smooth motor's really really quiet um overall i like really like this boat it's really nice size too so yeah, even the trailer's got some pretty cool features if you're having it in a garage you could uh take this out and slide in the tongue or flip the tongue and gets a couple of feet shorter yeah, it's a really nice setup everything about it is really really awesome Good. This boat is a really good casual boat, just riding around. It's also a really, really good fishing boat. So yeah, it's got the best of both worlds, and it's it's just a really nice boat. I know I've been saying this a lot, but it actually is a really nice boat. Um, yeah. So it's not like a speed boat or anything, but it does get to pretty high miles per hour. Um, Hauls a pretty big load too. We have all our stuff in here and load it all up nice and high and still goes pretty good and takes off nicely. So a cover, um, windows come off, back comes off, and then the side can roll up and sits down back here. And yeah, really, really like this boat. The guy that bought it before us even did some good work to it. He put this big long strip of wood down it because it, it used to button up right here. But he said a lot of water got in it, uh, used to get in it. So he put this long wood strip. It actually looks really nice. Looks really nice. Yeah, so that, that's another plus. 
So yeah, we bought this uh, boat used from a guy down uh, south. My cousin actually picked it up for us. We didn't even look at the boat. Uh, we just had a few looks online in, in Kijiji. We've been looking for boats for years now. We sold their boat uh, probably three or four months before we bought this one. And we bought this one um, around June-ish or July. And yeah, it's so far I barely have any complaints about it. Other than the trolling motor is kind of iffy, but other than that, it's it's a really nice boat. Um, gets through big waves, that rides nice and smooth, and yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and stay tuned for more videos.